Chief Edozie Njoku, All Progressive Grand Alliance APGA National Chairman, says justice has prevailed as the court injunction preventing him from executing his duties as national chairman has been dismissed. Njoku made this known to newsmen at the end of the court session held at FCT High Court, Jabi Abuja. News Agency of Nigeria reports that the case filed by Dr. Victor Oye was dismissed by the court. We can see how justice does prevail. How could I win a convention, free and fair convention I win, and then he runs into a court behind my back, goes to get a, gets, gets a substitute service, um, get an injunction to stop me parading myself as national chairman, get at the same injunction stopping Africa from recognizing me, that as long as our facts are straight, that justice will prevail. And by the stroke of luck, suddenly, um, as we got to last week, he starts having the hints, um, looking at the cases, that there's no way in which that injunction is not going to take place. And the committee say they are going for peace. And the court has now discharged all others that are now to be recognized as the national chairman of APOGA, and that the party that the party itself should start recognizing me as the national chairman of Africa and I should go and take position of my seat as the national chairman of the party. Njoku, who noted that APGA is not a party for an individual, but for the people, promised to walk and take the party to glorious heights. We need to re it. We need to go into complete reconciliation. We need to reconcile every aspect of the party. And one thing we must stop is the expulsion of people from parties. If someone in a party has done something bad, try as hard as possible to reconcile with them and not just expel them. The order of the day should be doing the right thing at all times. Council Tunjoku, Chile Oyemenam, said with what transpired in court today, he believes the defendant and the complainant will work together and resolve issues as a family, noting that both factions are APGA members. What has transpired in court today, it's like they want to take the matter back to resolve as a family because all the parties here are members of APGA. And you can see we did not raise any objection to the withdrawal, even though we have a counterclaim. We will save the counterclaim for another day and see what can be done to bring all the members together into one family so that they can work together to strive for electoral victories. So it was a wise decision for Dr. Ike Oye to instruct his counsel to withdraw this suit against the current elected cham national chairman of APGA in the person of Chief Edozie Njoko. For his part, Honorable Tony Uche Ezekwelu, founding member of APGA, enjoined all members of the party to support Njoku while urging Njoku to run an open door leadership. Now is no time to start talking about issue of uh, who did what in the past. What we need now is unity of the party. He should run an open door leadership. Bring back everybody together, the former national chairman and other chairmen of the party, leaders of the party for the national, state and local government, and also ask the leadership at all levels to go back and embrace unity and peace. Let us start talking, not warring. Let us judge or not war war. In so doing, this party may by this 2023 produce the leadership of this country if things are done in this order in the right direction.